time in the saddle, but as mayor, I felt it was my duty. What about the money? Not a trace of it. Excuse me. A dollar a day, cashed in advance. Did you look for the money? Well, we did and we didn't. Sheriff thinks that maybe the killer took the money along with the old man's horse. Probably needed an extra horse just to carry all that money. the old man? It's like Walter Joe said, dead. Somebody walloped him with a junk of stove wood. What about the money? What about it? Oh, did you find it? You'll find that when we find the killer. Excuse me. Well, he's all yours now, Harry. Says he hadn't any kin anybody knows about. Uh, might as well get the burying over, huh? Whatever you say. Uh, tomorrow morning too soon? That'll be fine. Oh, uh, Sheriff. Sheriff, that bruise on the side of his head. Now, that could have been caused by a piece of stove wood. But I've seen bruises like that on people that just fell down and died. Did you see the old man's place? Yeah, I've seen it. Took tall plumb to pieces? Yeah. Well, he didn't do that after he fell down. <laughs> no, he sure didn't. The killer did it after he hit him on the head with the stove wood. Just like I said. <laughs> just, just like you said. So any logical leader onto the Chima Mountain? Round is rocky, be hard to track. Yeah, 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 sure. Sure. yeah. 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 There's always a possibility the killer didn't find the money. I thought of that myself. Say, mister. That'll be one dollar. I just want to ask a question. Has Joe or Ben Cartwright been in here? Today? Never heard of him. There's always a chance he did find the money. That is a possibility. I'm Sheriff Mellett. My name's Cartwright. This your horse? Oh, not exactly, no. Well, you rode him into town, didn't you? I uh, did, Sheriff. You ain't gonna believe this. You just borrowed it. No, I, I found him. Uh-huh. You tell me all about it on the way to my office. Okay, Sheriff, I, I didn't steal that horse. Well, I'm not arresting you for stealing a horse. You're under arrest for murder. <laughs> This morning, my horse was gone, and I looked around, and I found this horse. Take off your gun belt, empty your pockets, and put the stuff on the desk. He may be some killer, but ain't a very good liar. Well, maybe he's telling the truth. Any man who'd kill and steal wouldn't be above lying. I say, let's hang him right now and get it over with. Yeah, yeah right. right. Let's let's get get him. Him. Hang him. Hang him. Hang him. Oh, all right, come on. Get back. Get back. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get away from that window. Come on. Get. Got everything? That's it. Sheriff, I didn't steal that horse. I found him. Look here, my Pa and little brother are going to be in town this afternoon or tomorrow, and they'll tell you what I'm saying is the truth. This way. <sighs> Sheriff. No, I didn't hear. Look here, we ranch down by Virginia City. It's the Ponderosa. Maybe you've heard of it. Now, you'd save us all a lot of trouble if you tell me where you hid the money. What money? One of these days, I'm going to have the simple pleasure of arresting the man who admits he's guilty. 
You better arrest one that is first. Sin and a shame. Be the biggest funeral this town's ever seen. No, he's paying for it. Harry will collect his fees just as soon as they recover the money. What happens to the rest of the money? That does present a problem. There doesn't seem to be a will of any kind, and we know of no relatives. And he had no close friends that we know of. Well, we just can't let the money sit there. The money could be used to benefit everybody. Fix up the town, paint the storefronts, dig drainage ditches. Build a church. That would come pretty far down on the list, Brother Stoner. Well, it's not right to hold Sunday services in a saloon. Well, look at it this way. You're challenging the devil in his own house. Careful what you call my saloon. Figure of speech, Henry. You think you'd better find the money before splitting it up? You've got the man who stole it, haven't you? Under lock and key. You asked him where the money is. He's not talking. Maybe we should appeal to his better nature. Could I talk with the prisoner? Not by yourself, you don't. Might be a good idea if we all talk to him. There's somebody to see you. I'm Mayor Brigham, Mr. Cartwright, and I, uh... Let's get to the point. What'd you do with the money, Hoss? What money? The money you took from the old man before you killed him. I ain't killed nobody, and I found that horse. Mr. Cartwright, you'll have to admit that story's pretty thin. I'll have to admit that I could make up a better story. But if I did, it'd just be a lie. I'm Brother Stoner, Mr. Cartwright. I'm the one that does the preaching here. <laughs> For those who care to listen. Now, if there's anything that I can do... Well, there's one thing you can do. Tell me why nobody around here will listen to me. Well, if you want people to listen, you've got to tell them what they want to hear. I told them the truth. That's the last thing that most people want to hear. Now, the way I see it, we got him cold on the murder charge. But he's the only one that knows where the money is. Now, he probably figures that we're not going to let anything happen to him until we know where the money is. Well, then we'll have to convince him we're more interested in justice than in money. How do we do that? We take him out and lynch him. Not all the way. Just a little bit. Charlie, a lynching is like an avalanche. Not hard to start, but you ever try to stop for one? No, and I don't intend to. That's the sheriff's job. Something from across the street. Hey, You're heavy. Roast beef, mashed potatoes, greens, pot pie. Fella could learn to like this jail. You know, that old man lived up on a mountain for more years than I've been sure of here. He'd come to town twice a year, take her all day to save a penny on a pound of bacon and flour, and then pay for a roll of bills as thick as your arm. 
The old man was sitting on a mountain of money. Everybody around here knew that. How much you figure he had all together? I wouldn't know, Sheriff. Enough to last a man a lifetime. Couldn't say. Maybe even two men. Unless one was greedy. Mighty good grub you got here, Sheriff. Well, you tell me where that money is. And I might forget to lock this door and leave a horse tied out back. Well, like I said, I ain't got no way of knowing. All right, you take me to the money and we'll split it right down the middle. How do you get off locking a man up in jail? You ain't no better than a crook yourself. I'm going to give you to the count of five. And if you don't tell me what I want to know by then, I'm going to shoot you up some for trying to escape. One, two, three. If you miss, I'll be sure to get him. Well, they'll keep them covered, Sheriff. You never know which way they'll jump. Thank you. Good thing I came along when I did. Yeah. We're gonna have some more heartburn because the boys down in the saloon are talking lynch. Just a little talk doesn't mean a thing. Well, you better let them know that. They think they mean it. If anybody comes around here looking for me, tell them I took a ride up to the old man's place to have a look around. Well, don't you think you ought to stay here and stop them people when they come? Stop them how? Well, with that gun. Those people are my friends and neighbors. I'm here to protect them, not to kill them. Well, what about the prisoner? Well, what about him? Someplace, let's go. Well, where's the sheriff? He's gone. We better get going. Through. I ain't going no place. I'm staying right here. Now listen to me. No, you wait a minute. If I run, then they'll sure think I'm guilty. They already think you're guilty. Well, they won't as soon as my poor little brother get here. By the time they get here, you're ready to be hung. Hung? Open up, sheriff! We've come for him! Open up! I'm going to save your life if I have to kill you to do it. That one's yours. Just don't like the idea of breaking jingle. I always go back and tell him it was a mistake. Let him try it there. prisoner, no sheriff, and no sign of struggle. What do you make of that? Maybe the sheriff let him go. Uh-huh. And uh, maybe the sheriff went with him. Well, he'd sure have to have a good reason. How about the money? That's a good reason. I'll give you odds that we'll find one or both of them up there at the old man's place. 
That is, if we get there in a hurry. Well, if they're gonna look that way, we better go that way. Yeah, listen, I appreciate what you did back there, but I don't quite understand why. Well, I'd do the same for any man. There's something about a lynching that sets my teeth on edge. Yeah, well, you know, I, I've been thinking about it. I, I think I better get back into town and get this thing settled up. If you're going to prove you're innocent, you better do it from a safe distance. Yeah. Well, maybe we could just circle around out here for two or three days and let the dust settle down and then go back in, huh? If you want my opinion, we better start riding far and fast, starting right now. you looking for Charlie I'm looking for you well you're having better luck than I am now what are you doing here that's what we're gonna ask you sheriff well, as a duly sworn in officer of the law it is my duty to find and protect the assets of any citizen who meets an untimely end and that's why I'm here doing my duty oh come on sheriff that's more than I can say for you vultures. I resent that, Sheriff. It is my duty and civic responsibility to see to it that these assets that you mention don't vanish before they reach the city treasurer's office. Furthermore, and in addition... Please. Yeah. Now, Sheriff, who was it told you where to dig? Nobody. They're just prospecting around. <laughs> where the face is thick. <laughs> I say that you brought this thing out here to confuse us. And I say that that horse told you where to dig. That horse showed me nothing. Then why'd you turn him loose? I left him locked up in jail where he ought to be. Well, he ain't there now, Sheriff. There ain't nothing in that jail cell but dust. And that's why we rode out, Sheriff. Fair than the thinks that you give him his freedom in return for him telling you where he hid the money. A prisoner escapes from jail, a cold-blooded killer, and you go chasing after the sheriff. People. Well, it seemed to make sense at the time. They aren't going chasing the dog. But don't make the fire too big. I want to tell you how much I appreciated what you did back there. I already told you how I felt about that. You took a mighty big risk. I don't want to talk about it. Look, I know you appreciate what I did. Man says your life, you're bound to appreciate it. But you don't have to go on and on about it. Yeah. I'm Horace Cartwright. Child Barnett. Child? Is that what they named you? No. Uh, that's just what they call me. Child. Come here, child. Child, behave yourself. Now, listen to me, child. By the time I was five years old, they forgot what my real name was. Well, it must have been somebody to write it down someplace. Somebody did. But neither one of them could read. Child. It's a 
funny name to be called a grown man, ain't it? What's so funny about that? Did your daddy name you Hoss when you was born? No, but... Well, then you ain't got no real name neither. Or you got is what people decide to call you. Even if your daddy named you George Washington Cartwright, if people decide to call you low down, mean, stupid, or dumb, all the George Washington in the world wouldn't change it. Dumb thing we say, but sorry about it. That's all right. I thought it was kind of funny when you told me your name was Horse. It kind of fits you. You had a good night's sleep. I did, thank you. Now we got a cold trail to follow. Can't track a man in a dark, Charlie. Well, you can try. Maybe you can, but not me. I know it's a waste of time. Maybe you don't want to catch him. Just about the end of my string with you, Charlie. Oh, Charlie. Where do we start looking for the track, Sheriff? South of town. They rode out of the alley that way. Big guy lives near Virginia City. I got a hunch it's one place he won't go. Uh-huh. What if your hunch is wrong? You'll probably never let me forget. that was all about? Looks like a posse. Sure in a hurry. Two rooms, four beds, and wash basins, that'll be a dollar each a day. Uh, I need a bath. Some folks used a horse trough in front of the livery stable after dark. I'm glad some folks do. Is that a posse I saw right now? Oh, indeed it was. Who were they after? A murderer. Yes, first killing we had around here in almost a year now. Was it a gunfight? No, he killed him with a piece of fire which just stove his head in. Very foul crime. Stole his money, too. Money that was intended to build a church? Now, you know that ain't so, Brother Stoner. He came to services regularly in the saloon and quite often made a donation. That don't mean he figured to build you a whole church. He was a good man, and the church is a worthy cause. Don't you agree, sir? Oh, yes, yes, of course. And just when did this killing take place? Yesterday. The posse just left. Oh, well, the man has been in jail. Oh, he broke out. Not exactly. A fellow went in and helped him out with a key. That wasn't a very legal thing to do. Well, I can't find it in my heart to blame him. Certain members of our community were going to hang him. Only part way, Brother Stoney. You know that. They were going to hang him part way? Yes, until he told us where he hid the money. Then we're going to leave it up to the law to hang him the rest of the way. Well, that would have made it legal. Let's uh, clean up, boys. 
Kind of gives you something to think about, doesn't it? Well, hanging a man part way? Yeah. I'm with the parson. If fella has a chance to get out of jail and to avoid a hanging, I'd do it. <laughs> I can't wait to tell Hawes. Hawes? Who? Hawes Cartwright. That's the man the posse's chasing. The killer! No, not, not Hawes. You're thinking about some other man. Hawes wouldn't kill anybody. <laughs> what makes you so sure? He's my son. <laughs> you should have got to know that boy better. Hotcakes would sure go fine about now, wouldn't they? I can't help you there, Horace. But here's something you might need. It just make you a little uneasy? I mean, I'm supposed to be a murderer. You don't strike me as the murdering type. What exactly is a murdering type? A little man. Squinchy eyes, pinched face, two weeks' growth of bed, wrinkled clothes, and a dirty hat. Yeah, I'd uh, be terrified by a man like that, all right. Hey, uh, aren't you worried about getting in trouble with them folks back there? No. Uh, they don't know me. I don't come from there. Where do you come from? No place in particular. I go where the wind blows me, and I don't like a lot of questions. Don't take much to get you out of sorts, neither, does it? Not out of the sorts, Hoss. Like my part tell me, the most interesting thing about a man is the part you don't know about. The part you have to guess. Where do you get that? Guess he made it up. A man who don't read, don't get nothing from books. Nice dusty road. Might be helpful if we made tracks in it. Possibly be along soon. If we don't confuse them, they'll be right on our coattails. Sounds to me like you've had some experience in this sort of business. Enough to know that you have to stay way ahead of a lynching party. Well, we gotta meet and talk with them sometime. I mean, we gotta settle this. This time next year should be about right. Now, take that fork, and I'll take this one. Stay in the dust until you come to the hard ground along the roadside, and then cut north. And then we'll meet on the far side of that hill. Fine. I don't know half the places where I'm from. Pa not being happy in any one place. He tried farming, smithing, and cow punching. But a man that don't know how to read and all figure numbers ain't good for nothing but chores. And he knew just enough to know that he wasn't getting what he wanted, but he didn't know how to go about getting it. And so we'd move on. Half the time, he didn't know where he was. And he was too dumb to read, and too proud to ask. I'm from Virginia City. We ranch up there. That's where I'm heading as soon as I get this cleared with the law. If you're looking for a job, I'm not. Now, there's that relay station. You can get that breakfast you've been wanting. That burn sure took every penny I got. I don't recall asking you for any money.
in the saddle. I won't be a minute. Don't ask any questions. Just ride. What do you have, boss? Biscuits or beef? You stole that, didn't you? Ah, uh, you don't have to keep looking back. Man's not gonna leave a store full of stuff just to get this away from us. You shouldn't have done it. I didn't do nothing but take a little bit of food for a couple of days. I don't care what you done. It ain't right. I was hungry. Well, I don't give you a license to steal. I remember you telling me you was hungry. Not for stolen food, I ain't. Tastes just like the kind you buy. I don't care what it tastes like, it's going back. I don't seem to remember you complaining about those stolen horses. Them horses don't belong to you? I just took the first couple of good horses I could find. Child, don't you know we could be hung for that? Well, they won't hang you anyway. Well, we'll settle the horses later, but right now, that stuff's going back. Well, this is not going back. This belongs to me. No, it don't. It belongs to the man you stole it from. What are we arguing about? This is just a sack of food. We're arguing about a principle. An empty stomach doesn't know any principles. Yeah, and a full stomach don't give you none, neither. Now you've made me lose my appetite. Good. Now let's take that stuff back. Give it here. I took it. Take it back myself. I'll tell you one thing, though. We're going to have to stop this fiddling around and do some hard riding. Or the posse will run right smack dab into us. I'll say one thing for you. You're a pretty good judge of horse flesh. In the dark. I have to be. That's when I get most of my horses. <laughs> Are they split up? Well, we gotta make a choice. We'll take this fork, see what we can find. Well, he's here just a minute. You don't suppose he'd try to find that Jew by himself, do you? I think he would. out of tracks. If I found any, I was uh, going to come and tell you about it. You wait here. Are you sure you don't want me to go with you? I did it. I'll undo it.
What's the matter? You forget the salt? Check it. It's all there. Seems to be. Well, I guess that squares it. Uh, mister? You... You going away hungry? That's the way it is. Howdy. Howdy. I didn't get a chance to meet you last time through. You, uh... We got this. No, I left it behind. You... Well, go and take it with you. I don't have the money to pay for it. Well, I didn't ask you for any. No, I don't take charity. I swear you do make it hard for a man to be Christian. You know what the good book says? It's blessed to give. Well, how in thunder is a man supposed to give if you won't take? My ma gave me this book before she died. She said to me, anything a man wanted to know was in this Bible. See this? I wrote my name in there. It says this, this Bible belongs to child Barnett. How long has your mom been dead? She died when I was a young thing. I don't hardly remember her. You just covered the cost of that food? Oh, sure, but uh, I can't take your Bible. Well, you make out your bill and put it in this book. If I'm not back to pick it up, then this Bible is yours. Mind if I do. Listen, I wanna, I wanna tell you how much I appreciate you getting these things. Uh, now you're not going to go on and on and on about that biscuit, are you? I think I was going to, yeah. Don't taste no different. Yeah. No sign of them. No, nah, nothing. Well, tracks are plain enough. Well, let's get after them. No, no. Let's rest the horses. But well, we can't. They need it, Joe. Well, I see you'll have to rest their horses, too. Come on. I'd be glad to rustle you up some grub. I don't say it'll be good, but it'll look good. for somebody, Buck. Yeah, anybody I know. Escape killing his partner. Big man, heavy set, wears a white hat. Name a uh, horse? Horse Cartwright. Well, I didn't get his last name, but uh, he didn't seem like a murderer to me. Well, which way did he go? Well, he rode off in the direction of Juniper Springs. That was, oh, maybe an hour ago. Seemed like they were in much of a rush. No. No, as a matter of fact, they forgot something first time around and they come back and straightened it out. And then they rode off slow and easy like they had all the time in the world. Well, that means their horses are still fresh and ours are rode out. What's that, Buck? 
Could we borrow some of your company horses? Well, them horses broke the harness, Sheriff. I don't know how much good they're going to be under a saddle. Well, at least they'll be fresh. Well, you're welcome to help yourself. You can turn yours loose in the empty corral. See anything? Yeah, I thought I saw something move way out there. Get closer. Hasn't been more than 20 minutes since those horses been outside their tracks. We can catch sight of them just about any time. Yeah, any time now, unless they see us first. Of course, these horses won't give much of a race. Well, we've only got one chance. Can't run them down. We'll have to shoot them down. If we kill him, we'll never find out where that money is. And if you let him get away... Just pull in here, huh? I thought so. Picked up a rock. Another alley, he'd be pulling up lane. You know, it ain't just everybody that would have known that. I ought to know. I've been around horses all my life. I was going to make sure you was a man like you. Rosso. I'm not looking for a job. What do you got against honest work? Nothing. You ever had a job? I've got plenty of them. I like to do it alone. I can't stand being in the bunkhouse full of people with somebody telling me what to do all the time. Well, what I had in mind was a little lion shack we got way up in Cibolo Canyon. Generally keep a man up there the year around, just riding fence and gathering in a few strays. I don't want any job. It's lonely. Hard work, but good pay. Stop it right there. What's the matter? I don't want any job. Why? Because I can't read. Reading ain't altogether the reason. I gotta figure that when a man won't slow down long enough to make his beans and his bacon, then somebody must be after him, chasing him. Well, you're kind of mixed up, aren't you? I mean, it's you that's chasing, not me, remember? Yeah, but it's you that don't want to go back. No, that's something you ain't telling me. And besides that, I knew you couldn't read before off to the job. Well, what do you mean, you knew? I gave you that book. It said, this Bible, the property of child Barnett. That ain't what it said. What do you mean it ain't what it said? It said, this Bible, the property of Joshua Barnett. Joshua. Joshua Barnett. Judge of horse flesh you are. But I, I, I did kill the old man. Nobody killed him. He just fell down and died. I found him lying there. He was peaceful and quiet. 
I tore up the cabin. I figured he wouldn't be needing the money. He'd be leaving behind. Where is the money? Never no money. It was just a lot of talk. Just a lot. Years we've been nice to that old man for nothing. Boss, boss. All that money. Just talk. I don't believe it was talk. That old man had money, and I think it's still up there somewhere. How come you're so sure? I just feel it in my bones. Horse! All right, horse, let's go. Go where? Go back to jail. What for? You heard it. Your man died of natural causes. Your son stole a couple of horses. Now, Sheriff, you know he didn't steal any horses. You heard that, too. When he broke jail. Nobody breaks out of my jail. It was either break jail or get lynched. We did find those horses. And I'll see that you get them, too. man feels that way, I guess there's no use stirring up any trouble. That's right. Scott free either. For the rest of their lives, they'll be thinking about that money. Spending all the time looking for it, worrying for fear somebody else will find it before them. And the funny part was, there wasn't no money. But they won't believe that either. They're greedy. So they're suspicious. Well, that kind of man carries his own jail around with him. Let's go. 